Hello YouTube, today I'm doing a re-review of the NECA Ultimate Feral Predator from the film Prey. Uh, again, doing this re-review just to test things out again and just see if I can get any better at this. I'm just trying to improve these videos and I just watched my uh, last video on it. It's not that good. Um, so, <laughs> this is the NECA Ultimate Feral Predator from the uh, movie Prey which were released in 2022, I believe, and is one of my favorite Predator movies. And, um, I just thought it was really, really good. So, let's, um, let's jump into this dude and what he includes, his packaging again, all that sort of, uh, stuff. Move my light for a sec. So, starting off with this box, it's a, uh, very large, black, simple cardboard box with the, uh, logo and stuff on it several times. It's very simplistic and easy to understand. It's not. It's nothing complex, but that's not a bad thing. There's a uh, shot of him there on the back holding a combi stick, his shield, and then a couple of other shots of him down there at the bottom. And then this little plot synopsis. You can pause it here if you want to read it. Anyways, back to um, the figure. I did a little bit of custom painting with him, not a lot, just enough to for me to uh, be a little bit more satisfied with his as hit with his aesthetic. So I have this painted red skull and spine that came with the Elder, I believe, the Elder Predator NECA. But I keep him posed with this in his hand, and I painted it red with some Blood for the Blood God Warhammer miniature paint. And I think it came out incredibly well. The blood is really nice and deep and red. I left just enough of a thin coat to leave some of the beige of the bone poking through, but you can't really tell on camera. It looks better in person. Got every little nook and cranny with this. The pelvis, the, the uh, spine itself, it came out great. But moving on, you can see I painted his uh, chest and stomach with some green acrylic paint to simulate blood flow le leaking from his uh, pectoral muscle as if he just got hurt and a tiny bit on his bicep. I could have done better with that one but I was kind of scared to do it to uh, get some paint into the hinge joint and you know seize it up or something. So I just went pretty light on that. But getting on to accessories, starting off with his wrist blades. The wrist blades look really, really good. They're simple and small, but ah, they look good. They just peg into uh, two holes on the side of his wrist. So you just slot them into those two holes on either side of his hand, and they're stuck in there. They're pretty easy to remove, but they hold their position in there very well. Uh, moving on to alternate mouths he includes. Now you can see his pissed off screamy mouth on him right now. But besides that, he includes a closed jaw and a, a slightly open jaw. He came with the closed mouth in the package. And they all look phenomenally good. Aesthetically, this guy is phenomenal. And then he has this slightly open, growling sort of mouth, I guess. But it looks really, really good. Everything this guy came with was fantastic. Oh, I dropped it. It's uh, There's no shading or paint on the back of these, as far as I can tell. So it's a pretty flat surface on the back, but you're not going to be seeing that anyways. So it's not a big deal. I understand it. He includes a whole cavalcade of hands, like an, an insane amount of alternate hands. Let me get them all, just a sec. And that appears to be all of them. Okay. So in the package, he had two splayed hands on in the box. They are right. They are all a very soft squishy sort of plastic. Not squishy, but they're soft and flexible. So you can bend his hands and fingers just a little bit to uh, reposition them to hold something if you need to. Well, I mean, not really for these two, but like for one of his other hands. 
So like, here's an example of that actually. This loose grip hand, which looks great, I have used a couple of times to... Jesus, I need to stop bumping my phone every five minutes. I am so sorry. But I figured out I can use this to hold the skull from the top and have it dangle from his hand. That looks really, really good. <laughs> so, you know, these hands being a softer sort of material really, really helps them in, you know, doing certain crazy things like this. Let's see if I can get it on camera. Let's see if I can get it well on camera. I did it yesterday. Uh, never mind. I have a few pictures of it where I got it to work out well. But for some reason, it's not wanting to cooperate with me right now. We'll move on. He um, also has two fists. Where's the other fist? Oh, it's on his right arm. Never mind. Um, but he has two fists as well. One's on his right arm. You can see that. Looks really good. The nails are painted incredibly nicely. He then comes with a trigger finger hand, which looks great. And this one has the uh, vertical hinge, I think. Horizontal, I'm not sure. But the uh, wrist joint in this one goes up and down towards the pinky and thumb. Whereas every other hand's joint goes towards the palm to the back of the hand. He then has a um, slightly loose gripping hand, which I don't really know what this is for. And then he also comes with a uh, right somewhat loose gripping hand, which the other one of this is right here on his left arm. But these all look great. The, pa the hands are very well sculpted and painted. They're not shiny because they're a softer material. Like the rest of his body is shiny. Like his uh, chest, stomach, legs, his head, all of that's shiny and re reflective, but his hands aren't. It's not a big deal. Then for weaponry and some other accessories, he includes the collapsed version of his shield and his extended version of his shield. And these look phenomenal. They both have a peg on the back of them to connect to his arm. And I will show you that now. So the peg goes in a specific way. So you want to have the uh, raised hump here facing down towards his hand. So you just line that up and you plug it in and it's on there and it looks really cool. The same as for, it's the same thing for both of them, but I'm going to show it anyways. Get the extended shield on there. And there we go. And his shield is now on attached to his arm. It looks really, really good. I dig it. The uh, shields have a black wash over them to bring out the uh, divots and holes in the uh, metal, but it looks great regardless. I really, really dig these. And then up next, he has a combi stick and then a uh, shortened combi stick with hooks on it. These hooks came taped to the back of the tray. So, you know, they were a separate accessory. So, you know, if you do get this dude, note that these hooks are on the back of the packaging behind him when he's inside of the box. All right, I need to go over more of the box later. I will. But these look great. The combi stick has a club on one end and a spike on one end. And if you want two separate melee weapons, you can split them in half. They just peg together. Very simple, very easy to get. And it works very, very nicely. I really dig the combi stick. It's so cool having a spear with these dudes. And then last but not least for weaponry, he includes his uh, spear gun. This, the, uh, 
The trigger finger hand is meant for this one specifically. Obviously, if you have something else, you can use this trigger finger hand for another weapon that came maybe with another figure, but as far as what he includes is concerned, it's for the, uh, the bolt gun. And it looks really nice. Now, moving that stuff off to the side for just a moment, let's show you those um, wrist blades being pegged in and out. I'm just going to use one, but uh, you peg it in there and it stays pretty well. They hold their position really, really nicely. They're not too loose. Um, also, this is a custom stand I got on eBay. I don't remember what the seller's name was. I'll have to go through my history if I want more of these my purchase history to get more of these if I want them, but this is a very nice little base. I got it to keep him standing upright so I could display him on my uh, dresser, because I just really love this figure. But you know, it just has a peg that plugs into the uh, bottom of his ankle. Either ankle works. So moving that off to the side, let's get on to the Feral himself. Now he has a couple more accessories. He has a magnetic backpack that sticks to his back, and it looks fantastic. Moving the light so it looks better for, you know, just a moment. But the backpack looks nice as hell, and is really, really well done. It's weighty and heavy, and it has a magnet in it to stick to his back. And so does the spear gun, or bolt gun, whatever you want to call it. If it wants to stay in there. There we go. So his backpack and bolt gun are both magnetic and can stay on his back if you want them to. The bolt gun does not have the best connection at all. It's really, really easy to fall off, and uh, it just doesn't stay on if you move him a lot. So I just keep the bolt gun in a ba bag. But the backpack itself has a very good magnet and really doesn't want to go anywhere most of the time. It's really, really well done, at least on the backpack. And up next, his mask can be taken off to expose his pissed off face. The mask is a very soft rubbery sort of material and it looks really nice. Very well done wash on that. Mine has a tiny splotch of copper paint right there. But otherwise the mask is phenomenal. Looks really really kick ass. And if you want to what I sometimes like to do is take these two ridges inside of it, uh, match them up with the wolf skull, and keep it attached to his belt. And that works really well. It has a good hold on that uh, skull. So, now starting off with aesthetic, he's very shiny, very bright and vibrant looking. That paint job I did on his chest and stomach and arm looks really cool. That's my customization. Of course, you won't get him with that. But, aesthetically, he's perfect, I think. His eyes look good. If my can't... Yeah, you can see his uh, right eye there. It looks really, really good. The, um, the accessories on the back of his belt are well done. He has these two throwing knives, a rattlesnake skull, net ball, and the wolf skull, which are all on soft pieces, so they can move around a little bit, except for this. So, you know, these all can flop around if they need to. And his dreads are very soft and malleable. They don't get in the way of anything at all. They're perfect. Some of the uh, dreads are clumped together in, in, in uh, separate pieces. So, like, these are all one piece, whereas some others are individual. Not all of them, but most of them. And I just really, really do dig this guy. He's probably one of my favorite figures I have. Besides a uh, Prime Samus and Dread Samus. But I just really, really like this guy. He's fantastic. He's really one of NECA's best, I think. Now, uh, getting into articulation. Starting, starting at his head. His head can rock side to side. He can look up that far. And down that far. And, of course, full rotation. 
the arms can go out just about exactly horizontal. He has a bicep rotation, forearm rotation, if it'll want to go with me, forearm rotation as well, separate from the bicep, and wrist rotation, of course. The elbow can bend pretty much straight in. Not too much, but it works really, really well. The uh, wrists, again, every single one of them goes up and down except for that trigger finger hand, so they're all basically the same. His uh, torso can rotate. Not much forward, but he does have a... Uh... Can I get it to work with me? He does have a bit of an arcing back. The torso is somewhat limited, but it's not bad, very far from bad. This whole skirt area is softer material, so it will get out of the way, and it looks really well done. The legs, he can split out about that far. The thighs can rotate. Not a lot, but just enough. The ankles, or knees I mean, can bend that far before they stop themselves. And then the foot can rotate. And the ankle movement is somewhat limited, but it's not horrible. There's not a ton there. Very little. But it's more for micro adjustments than anything. But overall, I think I give this dude a 10 out of 10. He's like genuinely just a great badass predator figure to have in your collection if you want this uh want this guy. I got him for about 40 bucks on eBay, and uh, I have had trouble finding him anywhere but eBay. I've tried Amazon, I've tried um, Mersari, etc., etc. He's really easily, to easy, most easily available on eBay from what I've seen, though some sellers are upcharging him for a lot more than he's worth. He retailed for about 40 bucks, and I'm seeing people sell it for 80 or 90 or more than that. But... <laughs> I'm going to show a couple more things before I end this video. I'm going to show the inside of the box and um, changing out his mouths. So the inside of the box is just this big tray, which you can't really see because my lighting is bad. And then this picture of him looking really, really good. He's just a good figure. I really dig him. I'm sorry if I sound a little tired right now. It's because I've been awake for less than two hours and I feel poopy. <laughs> but change, changing out his mouth is pretty easy. You just pull it down. And then you pop a new one in. There we go. That looks really good. And hands, of course, you just pop the hand off. And pop a new one in. Really, really simple, but it's really, really effective. Most figures do this sort of thing for alternate hands. But, you know, I really dig this dude. He's a great figure. Anyways, peace out, gamers. I hope y'all have a good one.